sounded so exasperated when you said, hey, Crystal. <laughs> you definitely sounded like a little brother, really annoyed. Oh, gosh. I had to, I had to quit Safari and open it up again. <laughs> oh, and Lord. now I'm some video is playing somewhere. I'll tell you, Don did the right thing. He planned a business that you can just work from wherever you're at. He was like answering our our like um, crazy emails while we were traveling through Portugal. And he was, I forget where you were, Don, but you were somewhere. Oh, I was like riding an elephant in like Zimbabwe. And I'm like, <laughs> I got it covered. Just give me two hours, Crystal. I got it. I got it. We'll get you. We'll get your... Yeah, 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 totally. I love it. I, I, For a while, I thought we were going to be stuck in the Algarve. And I really kind of was like, uh, I mean, it's not that awful, but we do kind of want to see Lisbon. <laughs> There's worse fates you could have. But yeah, let's get, yeah, let's get going. Yeah, a lot worse. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Small Biz Buzz. This is Ducey Van Dusen, and I am joined by... Crystal Huff. Hey, how's it going? Good, <laughs> how are you? I a long lead there to... <laughs> to I know. I you. could see on your face on this Zoom as we're recording. <laughs> this you look concerned i wasn't going to pick it up but i am ready today i'm awesome. here in focus i didn't talk about it beforehand so i thought i would do that so today we have a guest with us our guest is don don do you want to introduce yourself a little bit tell us a little I, about yourselves and yeah absolutely my name is don caparella and i am the ceo of quality travel solutions uh we're a boutique travel agency based in mesa and um we have uh, just been going through some interesting times the last few months, but sure. overall, the you know it's an amazing business to be in, and I can't wait to share some of the lessons learned that we've that's had. Awesome, well, and that's... I do want to be really transparent to say this: Don is my travel agent, <laughs> and uh, he's the best in the business. If you ask me, he's always answering emails at all times. <laughs> so I just want to say he's definitely a great travel agent, and I can't wait to hear. I've seen some of the stuff you've been doing in my emails, but I can't wait to hear you share some of the ways you've been adapting to everything going on right now. Awesome. Yeah. And that's, that's exactly what, um, you know, we're bringing on some small business owners to talk through exactly that. Like, uh, the times they are a changing and, uh, you know, <laughs> we're, we, we want to, um, give some examples to all of you, our listeners of like, here's some small businesses that, you know, have been doing awesome adapting to uh, COVID and, and just all the stuff that's going on and how, you know, hopefully give you guys some inspiration about, um, you know, some ways that you can um, more than just weather the storm, but like continue to grow your business and really thrive. Right. So totally. Um, there's, there's a lot of challenges out there. So hopefully, you know, that's kind of what we want to address today, but first, but first I want to ask, um, or maybe tell a little bit of uh, backstory here. Crystal, you know, some time ago mentioned a, tra a trip she was going on and said something about calling her travel agent. And I kind of looked at her and I said, travel agent. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. You were hesitant. You didn't understand why. <laughs> and I think I schooled you right then and there, Don, you can help me out here. But I was like, I don't know why more people don't use travel agents. Um, the truth is for me, it makes it so easy to travel. I work, I mean, you know, Ducey, I work long hours. I'm mm -hmm. really passionate about my job. And the last thing I want to do is fight through 200 travel websites oh, to find the best deal, yeah. figure out where yeah. the best places to go, the best hotels that I want to stay at based on what I'm looking for. And I'll tell you, Don is really like quality travel solutions is really known for like tours, but he has done two different like boutique real, like real boutique for my group. This last one was a doozy. There was four of us ladies and we all have different needs and wants. We're pains in the butt. Don got in there. He masterminded everything, found out the things we like to do, planned like really awesome excursions. He had like everything nailed down for us. We stayed in the best hotels. I think it was like four and five star hotels across oh, Spain awesome. and Portugal. And he made everything happen. And all we had to do was collect our tickets and get going. So when I say I love using a travel agent, it just makes everything simple. All you do is get excited about your trip. That was so awesome. And when you were when you were explaining that to me, you know, I was like, wow, you know, now that like I have a family and that I'm busy and I've got a career, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to spend that. I want someone to do it for me, please. <laughs> I know. I, once I thought I, that was awesome. Don, once I was telling him the ways of the world when you work with a travel agent, I could see his little wheels turning like, <laughs> yeah, I would use a travel agent. <laughs> well, I mean, here's the thing. It's like, great. I, we don't charge any fees. And 
we're we're here to save you time and money. Now, like, why not use us, right? Now, if if you want to go to Vegas for the weekend, I get it. You go online, you book your ticket, you book your hotel, knock yourself out. But like, if you're going to like Tahiti or Italy or Spain or wherever you're going, like, why not use my services? It's free, and I've been to almost all the places and if i haven't somebody on my team has so it's That's like so cool. it's like a win-win right and so, so I, I mean yeah. i've i've got to ask if the like this is this is my ignorant self and then we'll like move on to actually about <laughs> about your business but so if it's if it's uh, free like what's the what's the revenue model how does that work so we get paid by the suppliers that we okay. use so the hotels that we book the cruise lines um uh, the tour companies that we use. And so, I mean, oh my that, gosh. that's how we get paid. And, and you're not going to, you're not getting charged any more than if you book direct with them. Yeah. They just take a slice of the pie and send it over to me for, for doing business with them. And um, yeah, it's great revenue the, model Don, that people don't know about. I am in. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is so great. Oh my god. Maybe I should have started with that, Don, that you don't charge us anything. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> So, well, you do. Your team does a really good job too. I mean, you guys are like really, like I said, he's attentive. He was riding an elephant. We had a problem while we were on our trip, and he's like answering us while he's riding an elephant. I think you were in Africa. Now that you I was, there. yep, I was down in Zimbabwe, and we were playing with the lot, the, yeah, you know, the lions, the tigers. Oh my! And yeah, but, but you know what? We're always on in this profession. But like, come on, we can travel the world, live anywhere, and we get to make people's travel happen like it doesn't get better than that that's so great okay. that's so great so how did you how did you start you know getting into all this like so i so i was a corporate executive before any of this right okay. i was um I, I got my mba i you know did all the things that i was poised to do growing up and um with my parental influence <laughs> and um, <laughs> for, for I don't know, I guess it was 12 years, 13 years, I climbed the ladder and I was managing very large call centers, now contact centers. Um, mm -hmm. And it was an amazing career, but I wasn't feeling fulfilled. I said, you know, there, there has to be more to life than, you know, working that daily grind. Like I need something that's creative. And I need something that gives me freedom and flexibility. And uh, 11 years ago, I decided to take the plunge and leave a very, very lucrative job. But I had an 18-month plan. Like, it wasn't like, okay, I'm going to quit tomorrow. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I had an 18-month plan to start Quality Travel Solutions. And um, we started off slowly. There was two of us. And now we're a team of 20. Oh, wow. That is so awesome. cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool to see on your Facebook, like as you keep growing and getting excited about new milestones and new. So I guess what I really want to know is before coronavirus hit, what were some of the big goals you had coming up to like consider, like what were you trying to do to keep growing? So this year we had, uh, so we had, um, we brought on five new travel advisors, which was really exciting. And um, they were leaving other careers. And we said, no, come on over to the travel industry, <laughs> which in hindsight, when you look at saying that in December and then two months <laughs> oh, later, right? you're like, hmm, I'm not sure I spoke so well. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, we, um, but leading up to it, I mean, the business was growing. I mean, we, we we were growing by the million dollar mark each year, and it was amazing. We were adding new tours, so we we're we're a combination. We're a travel agency, but we're also a tour operating business, mm -hmm. and so we create our own custom tours that you can't find anywhere else, and it's great. And um, so we were poised for this year to be the best year ever you uh, had we, so many tours those so emails it was like so many. many one every month you were going somewhere so many i was i was looking at the schedule and i was like uh, uh, okay 
uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll make this happen. But they were, you know, they were so excited. We, we picked destinations that we're infatuated with, not necessarily ones that we've been to when we lead our tours, because I can't do the reconnaissance work ahead of time on everything. <laughs> But like we, yeah, we had rented a private yacht in Croatia for three oh, weeks. Oh, that one was making me jealous. Ninety. Oh, wow. I mean, we did. I mean, yeah, this year was supposed to be epic. Epic. Well, it turned out to be epic in other ways, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, who uh, could have seen this? Did. Who could have this was coming? If you could, uh, if there was one, before we kind of move on to the adapting part of it, if there was like one or two, you know things that you could just encapsulate that you would say this is this is how we got successful like obviously there's not there's not you know this one small trick but like what would you what would you credit your um ability to keep growing to customer service through and through i mean i believe that i mean everybody needs to we drop what we do and we take care of our customers. We, we are yeah. not yeah. in the business of treating anybody like numbers. Um, you know, there are a lot of um, travel agencies that are online and you dial and you sit there and you wait 30 minutes. No, you call me, I'm answering the phone. Yes. And so we really prioritize our travelers. I mean, that, that is why we're in it. And frankly, that's why we love it. So, um, so that has been the key to our success. And also staying a small business has been the, the number two key because I've had the opportunity to either sell the business. I've also had the opportunity to merge and grow into a much larger business and I've said, no, I want to keep the boutique intimate feel. And I think that's the most important for us in terms of longevity. That's awesome. I love that. Absolutely. Love Isn't that, that, I mean, I was telling Ducey that, um, I, it was word of mouth that led me to Dawn, um, <laughs> through Lindsay Roberts first, uh, that's one of my friends who told my sister about it for a birthday party. And it was such a great experience. There was even more girls on that trip and, yeah. uh, just nailed it. It was so easy. And like, you just show up, we were in the Dominican. It was like overnight. <laughs> No, and I and won't then, name I won't name names, but yeah, I was thinking this morning, it is like five degrees of separation of how Crystal you came to QTS. It was somebody who worked with somebody who worked with somebody who worked with somebody, <laughs> and I'm still working with everybody. I love it. Exactly. <laughs> it's like such a sign of having great customer service is that that oh, word yeah. of mouth is really such a great way to grow. And then through that, now three other of my girlfriends have now used you and loved the experience. So I just think you're killing it with the customer service. And you really, like you made the trip of my dreams. I had been planning to go to Portugal for, I don't even know how long. My only complaint is that yeah. I don't treat myself enough to travel. And I wish I could work with you at least once a year. <laughs> I know. Well, we all have to give ourselves the gift of travel. I really <laughs> believe that. Like I will forego other like expenses. Um, but you know what? There's now there's going to be lots of travel value and bargains coming oh, up. So you just hit me up. Well, oh, I will. I need a beach. Yeah. So talking of what's coming up, like I imagine there's not much, if any, travel, you know, going on right now. I'm, I'm sure there's there might be places where it makes sense that someone's going from here to there. But um, what? I mean, I, I would love for you to walk us through. There's some of the obvious <laughs> challenges, happened? but yeah, like what? <laughs> and then, and then, what you're doing to you know to make it through? Yeah. So, and and you guys just shut me up if I get too chatty because <laughs> I, I boy, we'll jump I was, in, Don. Yeah, you jump in. So I was leading a tour in South America. We went. We were in Ushuaia, Buenos Aires, and it was the beginning of March. And, and the COVID virus, you know, it was happening, but it really wasn't as prevalent or in the news. And then we got a notice on Friday that 
Sunday morning, they were closing all airspace from Argentina oh. back to the United States. And we were only halfway through this amazing tour that I had had planned for three years. Oh. And um, so we, we, we scrambled, we had to do everything, got everybody back mm -hmm. to Buenos Aires and got everybody back to the U S and then I live, you know, in Mexico and so I, um, I was the last flight out before they closed the borders. <laughs> and I got home, and I was feeling a little shell shot. Well, okay, yeah. I mean, how candid can we be? I had to have a glass <laughs> or three or five of wine. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah. because it was like, wow, what just happened? <laughs> what does yeah. this mean for the business? And um, – to and be we, fair, if I remember yeah. from your Facebook, you actually started drinking on the plane because there was a picture <laughs> of you that was like, we made the flight, we're on our way back to TV, and you were like sitting there with a drink. Yes, there was maybe, <laughs> it was like they, okay, there was one at the, the, the frequent airline club where I'm sitting, there was no, there weren't any seats. What is this speed? We didn't know what it, and then we got home. And within a week, the phone started ringing and the texts and my 20 agents, again, several of them are news. They didn't have any, um, they didn't really have any clients, but at, at least 10 of us were, you know, rocking and rolling. And, you know, we had an amazing year lined up and yeah, we saw the fallout immediately in terms of everybody was canceling. Everything that we had planned going forward was done. We went through a period of, okay, this is not looking good. It kind of, it reminded us of the 2008 housing crisis. It reminded us of 9-11. And then, like a few days later, we realized this was so much worse for the travel industry. Yeah, yeah. that, I mean... I have to say, you say you went through a period, but it's a lot shorter than a lot of people in your place would have. I mean, you were rolling with it real quick. I mean, it felt like you adapted quickly. You knew what it was, but I mean, you've done a lot to really get through it and kind of keep yep. people with the travel bugs. So do you want to share some of what you've been doing? Yeah, so, absolutely. So I worked with some of my other travel agency owners and we were really quick. We're like, okay, we're, we're going to save this industry. We're going to save our business. And we created five pivots that we had to do to make sure that we were going to survive. And so we had to pivot our marketing. We had to pivot our client communications, pivot our offerings of destinations. Mm -hmm. We had to pivot our own internal process and then we also had to pivot our mindset which sometimes was the hardest so which did you tackle first the mindset or did you tackle some of the processes i think the first so once you get over the shock mm -hmm. um it for me it was looking at the destinations so i said okay um we still need to sell travel we need to survive um, what are places that travelers are still willing to go to? And we came up with, let's, let's focus more on domestic travel within the United States. There are several river cruise companies in the U.S. that do an amazing job. Um, we also looked at doing like three and four day city packages just to get people out of their hometown, but be able to um, get away for the weekend and just have sort of a change of pace. Um, and then we also looked at Caribbean and Mexico for the all inclusive resorts for people that, you know what, they want to just at this point sit on a beach they want to eat. They want to have some adult beverages. They want to socially distance. They don't want to spend a fortune. And that has been what the mainstay has been for me the last two months. Okay. I, I heard you um, before we uh, started something about you doing a lot of webinars now. Like, what is what does that part of it look like? So I am 
so I'm just really involved in the travel industry and we're doing a lot of webinars and training um, other travel professionals on how do you move forward? You know, this is, this has been, um, I mean, it really has been a tragic for the travel industry. We've seen people who they were poised that they've lost 95% of their income. And so I'm trying to do whatever I can to make sure that people can rally back, even if it's in small increments, but not to give up and not to leave the industry. I mean, it, that's like, it gives me the chills to hear you say that because as someone who loves to travel, I just feel like it's really quite awful what's happened. And you were actually one of the first people I thought of when we were, um, thinking about all of what happened with, you know, all of this change and all of this, you know, the Morgan, the first thing my roommate said was basically, imagine if our trip was this year, like thinking of how disappointed we would have been. And I mean, you're balancing a lot. You have to keep your team motivated. You have to keep your clients, you know, motivated and interested in traveling. Um, You've got a lot on your plate. So how are you balancing some of that? Like, it, it sounds like you're being great to the travel industry, but how do you keep your own team going? So that's a great question. That, you know, that's the first time in all of the webinars that I've been focused on that somebody has asked that question. It is. Um, so with my team, we had been doing monthly um webinars via zoom and they Mm -hmm. would last for three hours and you know it was uh trainings that would bring in special guests and and i realized well everybody's sitting at home and we can take advantage of this time to uh train show different travel tools so we've been doing two or three meetings every week since the start of this yeah and it really and, and it's brought the team together. And then we also do a weekly happy hour on the weekends where we don't have an agenda. And it is, let's just get together and talk about, like, what's going good or what's not working, mm-hmm. right? Like, let's vent. Let's have it. Um, so, and then the other thing is we have an annual summer camp uh, for quality travel solutions where we bring all of our agents together <laughs> And we bring uh, suppliers and guest speakers. And, Sounds so fun. Oh, I, yeah, well, yeah, well, it's a party and a half. And I got all the costumes <laughs> all lined up in the other room. And yes. um, they, um, but they're coming down next Saturday. And we are still moving forward with the summer camp because we don't believe that travel should stop. We do believe that some destinations we need to put a pause on for just a little mm-hmm. while. Mm-hmm. But we also believe that travel, travel is not stopping. And so I have my team coming down and that's, that's going to make us get, you know, be even closer. Yeah. I that's love fun. those. I love those regular happy hours, right? Like that's something that uh, we've done on our team. We were saying, you know what, every Friday, let's just, let's get together and just, chat grab a drink whatever um and still having that connection right i've heard some people talk about okay the social distancing you know maybe not being the best phrase maybe it's physical distancing because we still need those social connections right for sure i like that a lot yeah oh i like physical yeah not social yeah i'm gonna use that i'm stealing that from you (laughs) okay i stole it from some random twitter user but feel we're just gonna keep stealing i like it i like it yeah just keep the stealing going and then it's all like sharing really it just becomes sharing that's right Um, so okay it sounds like you've got a great grip on like your team then you know i've seen your emails so i want you to really dive in for any other travel agents out there struggling how are you keeping that travel bug alive in me? Like you really are making me, I told you just last week I was ready to email you because I was like, I need to get out of here. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to interrupt here. I want you to think on that, Don. This is a yep. tease. We're going to come back to that answer of how, what he's doing. Okay. Um, but we are going to take a moment for a brand new sponsorship. All right. This is a, a new segment that uh, I don't believe you've all heard before. And we are calling this the unsponsored sponsorship. So here it goes. 
<laughs> Tanya Merritt is the co-founder of Junk Right, Junk Woo-hoo! Hauling and Go Removal. Tanya. Yes, Tanya is fantastic. We here at Keep um, have know her. We we uh, did a video with her. You can go check out. Uh, she's fantastic. She's no she stranger is. to being a woman in a male domina- dominated industry. She also runs, in addition to her junk hauling, Priority Pumping, which is a septic tank service company, and a third company called Greyhawk Home Services. She does it all. Yeah, she does. <laughs> so, and she. She and I were supposed to be getting a cocktail when this ends, and we're we're still having to wait. It's still on, yeah, <laughs> still on, yeah. <laughs> um, so she she knew um, that to stand apart from local services, that she had to provide customer service, just like Don was saying, right? Like that is mm-hmm. that is paramount. Um, so she does her best, um, does her best. She does amazing at going above and beyond <laughs> customer service um, while running all the th- three businesses. She also knows that she's got to wear a lot of different hats, keep track of a lot of different moving parts. And it's easy to get stuck in the day-to-day of running your business. She looked to keep to um, automate and streamline a lot of those daily to-dos. It's freeing her up to work on her business, not just to work. Here's how I'm supposed to say it, to work on her business, not just in her business, <laughs> right? Uh so she put in a system in place that makes it easy for our customers to leave positive reviews. She knows instantly if there's a customer that needs some extra attention. So we just wanted to take a moment to celebrate Tanya Merritt and Junk Right. Um, they exemplify the entrepreneurial spirit. Um, we are happy to sponsor them. And uh, if, in case it wasn't clear exactly what this is, they didn't pay for this. We just wanted to shout out to Tanya because we think that she is awesome. So go check out Tanya from Junk Right. So awesome. yeah, that um, great well job, Tanya. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> her her focus on customer service really mirrors what you were saying to me, Don. That well, both totally. of you are great examples of like that is it's just so important to be you know thinking about how you can serve them great. So 100%. well, thank you for that little break. And now Crystal was asking about okay, we're going through all these tough times, and she's been getting some of your emails, and would love to hear some of the details about like things that you're doing. Did I, did I the get one that, that right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, I was just saying he's really keeping like his clients with like bitten by the travel bug, like the emails he's sending. Um, sometimes they, I think I saw a couple Don that were like virtual tours of places yeah. and like really just trying to get you excited and pumped up to go places either now or right when all of this is a little safer. So, yeah, so we, we've sort of... We have like a multi-layered approach. I love At it. At first, we were just um, sending um, emails as well as social marketing um, messages, um, just reminding people like, hey, we're still here, right? Like we haven't, yeah. you know, we're not gone. And then we decided, you know what? People are not necessarily ready to travel just yet. And so we were sending out recipes from around the world or, so cute. Co- or cocktail recipes from around the world and people were getting a kick out of it we were getting a lot of response they're like oh my god i love that i'm gonna try that thank you and then we went into soft marketing and we were just saying you know when you're ready to travel again here we are or if there's a destination you have in mind But it's, you know, you're not ready. Let us know and we'll put some information together. So it's been sort of a multi-phase approach. And now we are back at the approach of saying, hey, do you want to go to the Caribbean for four nights for $600, including airfare? (laughs) And um, we're we're getting a tremendous amount of response because... The one thing I see is some travel agencies, they're promoting the world and yeah, I would like to do that. But I'm, I, um, from an integrity perspective, I'm not ready, but I yeah. will sell destinations that I feel comfortable about. So yeah, like I'm ready. Caribbean, Mexico, Costa Rica. Like, yeah, if anybody wants an all inclusive for five nights, we got it for you. <laughs> yeah. And I was reading that article I told you about, and they were saying like how many cases per each of these different Caribbean islands. And they have very low cases. Like very it feels low. so much safer than being home, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the islands, every island, I, so I have, um, I have a link to uh, a company that gives me an update on every island and when they open. Um, and we know that there's some wiggle room, right? Everything's 
changing these times. Mm-hmm. But like, I know which destinations. Like, if somebody's like, I want to go to you know, Antigua in August, or I want to go to Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao in September. Like, we know exactly when you should or should not go. And yeah. the great thing is that these resorts are offering specials that are like, I mean, I've been in the business for 11 years and I'm like, what do you mean you're offering an all-inclusive rate at 59 a night? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I know I can I can drink and eat at least $59 worth without even <laughs> taking advantage of the resort stuff. I can drink and eat that. I mean, it's been great. So... <laughs> You were saying to Ducey and I that you've been seeing like some growth because new people are experiencing the need to find like the help of a travel agent because kind of what you were just saying, like the rules are all different, different places you're traveling to. So tell us about how you've kind of seized opportunity and are taking advantage of some new business. Perfect. Thank you. Um, So for like my millennial clients who I love, 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 and um you know, there was just a lot of apprehension of like, oh, should we use the travel agent? Like, what's the value? What's the benefit? And, uh, you know, we talked earlier about, you know, the no fee structure, but, you know, it goes beyond that. Um, yeah. Our our value statement at Quality Travel Solutions is changing one, um, changing lives one travel experience at a time. I love That's awesome. And we and I and, and we do a whole session with anybody who comes on my team. Uh, we do a let's sit down and we're going to talk about what it means to change a life via travel. So um, we're finding that um, many folks through the last three months they've had some really bad situations in terms mm-hmm. of they had booked online or they had booked with big agencies and um, they couldn't get a hold of a live person. And so we're really um, doing well in that folks are coming back to the small business mm-hmm. owners uh, and um, it's helping us. I mean, we're not where we were, but right. we are seeing a very big uptick in people that that yeah they're just like you know what i'm not going to go online and book via name unsaid um (laughs) and we we want the we want the personal attention yeah it's needed right now and i think the hope of that at least for me as someone who loves using your company i would say the hope of that really is that right now it's hopefully sustaining you And in the long term, I think it'll lead you to growth once the traveling picks back Mm -hmm. up again, even more than it already is starting to, because you'll have new clients that experienced how great it is to travel with more like a hand-picked feel. You know, like you just really give it like, I tell you, these are the kind of things we like to do. I'm not sure which cities I should do them in. You were like, okay, we're going to do, you know, flamenco show. We're going to do some (laughs) wine tasting. He had it all laid out and it was like so easy it, it makes me that that personal connection i think is even more important in this time because like you said totally. if if another company is is you know freaking out they're not sure how they're going to deliver on everything and you can't get a hold of them like people are going to leave right makes me think of uh it's a wonderful life and the run on the bank right where, where the the ones that kept their heads cool and said we're going to work through this and i'm right there with you i'm talking with you we're all we're all in this together like yeah. are able able to figure that out but if you know if a if a company like that shuts down and doesn't, you know, doesn't uh, keep that connection with their customers, that's they're they're going somewhere else real fast. When in a place of when a customer is coming to you in a place of anxiety, like that's got to be the you've got to be right there on it, ready to help them. And I I, I can see that that makes a huge huge difference in the way that you operate. That's fantastic. Right. Well, thank you, Don, for spending some time with us, for sharing your story with us, um, for sharing how you're adapting through. COVID and just all the difficulties that come with it. We're, we're very, very grateful for your time. And um, I can see that uh, you've got, you know, grit and determination to make it through this. It's fantastic to see that. Uh, for thank sure. you. It has, uh, it's been a pleasure chatting with you guys today. And um, yeah, keep, 
keep quality travel solutions in mind for free travel, <laughs> but otherwise, That's right. um, yeah. I mean, Don, tell them where they can find you. Yeah. So, um, uh, quality travel solutions.com is the best way to find us. And then we have all of our social media links and, uh, direct phone number and email and all that. So again, that's uh, www.qualitytravelsolutions with the S on the end there. Dot right. com. <laughs> and I just want to do kind of a bundle here of what I heard as far as like what you're taking to adapt. I think we've heard that you're really a great leader. You're practicing great leadership, both for your clients, your team, as well as the industry as a whole. So I think that's definitely one of the things you've done that has been successful. And then you talked about your multi-tier and I think being able to be nimble the way you have been and be able to, you know, as one phase passes, you're not staying stuck there. You already know what the next phase will kind of look like. So you're Mm -hmm. planning ahead and you're adapting quickly. You're not just taking a one and done approach. So that's kind of the two main things I heard just to kind of sum it up. Ducey, am I missing anything you heard? Um, that's the main stuff. I think just have a great attitude like Don. That's my, For sure. <laughs> that's the biggest yeah, thing right? that I get out of this. So yeah. yeah. Well, Absolutely. thank you so much, Don. I really appreciate you coming on today. I appreciate all the help you've given me traveling. And I think Don, I only have one favor to ask you. Are you ready? Please. And I've asked I'm you ready. before, but I'm asking while we're recording now. Get me like a singles tour that is with some men, like new social <laughs> distancing meeting or physically distanced meeting. I can't find a man right now. I can't travel. I need to be able to travel and oh, find we'll make that happen. Uh, you okay. just t- you just tell me what wh- where in the world you want that to be, and I'll make it happen. <laughs> would you like That's a little perfect. Aussie man, or would you like a little Spanish man? You know, the Italians are always good too. So I you mean, tell honestly, you tell me where, and I got I got you covered, girl. Perfect. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here. Well, okay, that's a wrap. Yeah, this has been Small Biz Buzz, Ducey Van Dusen, Crystal Huft, and Don. Thank you all for joining and listening. We will see you next time. Thanks for listening to Small Biz Buzz. Please take a second to subscribe to the show and leave a five-star rating. It helps keep the show going. And if you need a hand with growing your small business, head over to keep.com. That's K-E-A-P.com and get started. More business, less work. That's Keep.